It's Friday night, we got four games for you on tap. There's plenty of action to enjoy in today's Daily KHL update. I'm your host, Andrea Sachinka. Let's get right into it. We travel to Asana Kazakhstan first, where Boris take on Vidas. Home team strikes first in this one. Six and a half minutes in, they win a face off in the offensive end, and Roman Starchuk snipes it home for his third of the year. But Vitas tie it up in no time as they convert on a two man advantage. Alex Semenov beats no adversary, skates to the high slot and whams it into the back of the net. That's a six of the season. It's a 1 1 tie after 20. Maurice gets their lead back seven minutes into the second period as they get a power play goal of their own. Kevin Dalman nests his third of the year with a blast from the point. Martin St. Pierre led in bay with the assists. Vitas bring it back to even midway through the third frame. Border and Dillard draws his second assist of the night as it fits Yakter Rissina for his second goal of the season. What a tight a tease and this one will go to overtime. And this is how it ends. Martin St. Pierre gives the puck to Nigel Dawson, skates to the slot, gets the puck back and puts it home for his fifth of the season. Game over. Martin St. Pierre enjoys a 2.9 including OT winner and Boris take it 3-2 on home ice. We go to Omsk now, where Avangard beat their old friend Gary Ramo as they defend the ass against Gakurid. Let's see if Teddy Forsell can score his first goal for the Hawks in this one. The Jokers open up the scoring late in the first. Niklas Jensen skates to the slot and puts it home for his tenth of the year. Ryan O'Neill picks up the only assist on the play. Early in the second period, Gakurid doubled their lead. Antti Pilstrom breaks into the zone and wrists it past Dominic Ford for his fifth. But less than 30 seconds later, Teddy Purcell wins the battle for the puck in the corner, skates to the slot, waits, and roofs it with a backhand shot. Welcome to the KHL, Teddy. That's his first career tally in the K, and Owen got up back to within one. Yakuri restored the two-goal margin meter through the period. Ally Tolvin and finds Brian O'Neill on the slot, and O'Neill nests his 11th. And that's all they're gonna need tonight. Yucker get their second win in seven games against Owen in KHL history. 3-1 is your final. Head over to Novosibirsk now, where a local Sibir celebrate their 55th birthday as they face Red Army. The red and blue sure spoiled the festivities. 15 minutes into the game, Alexei Marchenko makes a wonderful diagonal pass to Andrew Kuzmenko, and Kuzmenko scores on a wide open net. Sibir just killed off a penalty, but they still trail 1 0 now. Two minutes later, former Sibir forward Sergei Shumakov says hello as he scores his 8th of the year from pretty much the same spot. Red Army lead 2 0 after the first period of play. Second period now, Sibir in a counter attack. Patrick Zakerson sets up Alexander Bergstrom on open ice. Bergstrom shoots off the pipe and back into play. Better luck next time. Led in the fray and Red Army improved the lead to 3 0 as Kirill Kapriz of Netsing Beauty for his 13th goal of the year. Maxim Shalunov and Nikita Nestorov for the assists. Sibir put Alexander Salak in the cage for the third period, but he gets scored on just 35 seconds in. Get an Astro gives the puck to Ivan Tilagin and Tilagin beats Salak on the glove side. A few minutes later, another former severe forward finds the back of the net. Maxim Shalunov rifles it home for his eighth. Kaprizov and Shumakov with the assist. All Sibir can get in this one is a cancellation goal by Slava Snaven. He steals the shadow from Ilan Sorokin but changes nothing in the big picture. Former Sibir forwards Shumakov and Shalunov score a goal and two points each and Red Army spoiled the night for local fans. They win 5-1 on the road. We go to Hunter Mansis for our last game of the day. Yugra challenge Slovan. Early in the game, Alisa Sherbatov skates to the slot with defenseman on his back, beats Hila Proskirikov but hits the post. Sherbatov is still looking for his first career KHL goal. Slovan gets on the board short after that. Tomas Grinka finds the back of the net. That's his sixth of the season. Line on the second tier and Slovan get a mad advantage. Zach Boyshek passes it to Colby Genoway in the corner. Genoway throws it in front and Alisa Sherbatov finally scores his first career KHL goal. There's no happier man in the building right now, that's for sure. Uber get a goal back early in the third period. Czech rookie Andre Vitasek splits the deal, scores his first career KHL goal as well. Home team is down by just one now. 
Leader for the B rear, Miko Rapid completes the tic tac toe play for his seventh of the season and Slovan Block 3 1. A little later, Yubra makes things interesting again. Artem Mihaev cashes in on the rebound to convert on a power play, but it doesn't count. They review the play and roll it offside. Slovan steal it 3 1. But later regulation, Yubra score one that counts. Fabias Vikun shoots three amazing players and it goes into Feli Matisavinainen. 3 2, and there's still some time left on the clock. Yuger go all in and pull the goal for the extra attacker, but Nick Ebert ends it with this empty netter. That's gonna do it. Slovan snap the three game skid and take it 4 2 on the road. And that's it for the LKHL update. Do come back tomorrow though for eight more games, including Amur Salavat Yulayev and Dana Omasko vs. Spartak. My name is Andreas Ashenka, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon.